ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel today we are going to draw the loose dot structure for phosphorus difluoride right okay to draw the loose dot structure for phosphorus difluoride at first we have to find out the valence electron for phosphorus and fluorine right okay we'll learn two methods to find out the valence electron for uh, phosphorus and fluorine look at here the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 if you do the electronic configuration you will get this the outermost shell is called valence shell and the electron in valence shell is called valence electrons so look at here here the outermost shell is the third shell and in third shell we have 2 plus 3 that is 5 valence electron and for third shell the highest value of principal quantum number is 2. However, uh, we have another way to find out the valence electron for phosphorus. Look at here. The group number tells us the number of valence electron for the element. That is, phosphorus is an element of group 5A or 15. So, for 5A, if you deduct this A, then you are getting 5. Or for 15, if you deduct the first digit, then you are getting 5. So, phosphorus has 5 valence electron. Now, <clears throat> come to the fluorine. The atomic number of fluorine is 9. This means that fluorine has 9 valence electron. And uh, the outermost shell is second shell. And in second shell, we have 2 plus 5, that is 7 valence electron. And fluorine is an element of group 7A. This means that... Uh, the fluorine has 7 valence electron or 17 so this means that uh, uh, fluorine has 7 valence electron you have to deduct the first digit and here you have to deduct the second a the second thing that is a so fluorine has 7 valence electron so now we have to find out the total valence electron so in phosphorus dichloride phosphorus has 5 and every chlorine every fluorine has 7 valence electron but here we have 3 fluorine <coughs> so basically we are getting 26 valence electron for phosphorus difluoride now we have to find out uh, the central atom look at here the central atom is, is phosphorus here because this is single and this has lower electronegativity than fluorine. So, after finding central atom, you have in the first step, we will connect central atom with outer atom by single line. So, let me use this single line. Okay, this is the <coughs> phosphorus difluoride. Look at here, this single line means two dots. One single line means two dots. Remember it. Okay, look at here. Here we have used two, four, six. But totally, we have here 26. So 20 valence electron left. This 20 valence, valence electron will be used to satisfy the octet for outer atom fire. So, this fluorine can take more 6 valence electron to satisfy its octet. This fluorine d can do the same thing. So, we have used here 6 dot, 6 dot, 6 dot. So, 3 times. 6 that is uh, 18 dots we have used but we have here 20 so 2 dots left or 2 valency electron left so this 2 valency electron will come over phosphorus look at here now phosphorus has 2 4 6 8 valency electron so every atom has satisfied uh, its octet so we can say that this is the Lewis dot structure for phosphorus difluoride. Now come to the final point. Now we can calculate the formal charge for fluorine and phosphorus. Formal charge is equal to valence electrons uh, minus dots minus line. 
the alternative uh, expression of this formula is valence electron formal charge equal to valence electron minus unbonded electron that is dots minus uh, bonded electrons divided by 2 that is lines however so let me use this formula so let me first find out valence electron for, for uh, formal let me find out formal charge for fluorine the valency electron for fluorine is 7 from the group number or uh, electronic configuration then dot attached to this fluorine is 6 minus line attached to this fluorine is 1 so basically we are getting 0 right so 0 formal charge every fluorine uh, will have 0 formal charge because every fluorine is symmetrical or similar now let now let me find out the uh, valency let me find out the uh, balance the formal charge for phosphorus uh, the the valence electron for phosphorus is 5 minus dot attached to this phosphorus is 2 minus line attached to this phosphorus 1 2 3 so basically we are getting 0 so phosphorus has 0 formal charge uh, I will have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post to get more ideas. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.